In this video, we're going to go through a couple examples that will help us to make sure that we understand our basic geometric definitions. Example A says, what best describes San Diego, California on a globe? And you guys should know that San Diego is a city. So is it a point, a line, or a plane? So let's remember what those words mean. A point is like a dot. This would be a line that goes on forever. And a plane is a two-dimensional surface that goes on forever. So on a globe, cities are so small compared to the whole Earth that they're usually represented by dots. So the best way to describe San Diego, California on a globe would just be A, a point. Okay, example B, use the picture below to answer these questions. And we see this sort of complicated picture where there's a plane, that's the pink thing, plane J. There's a line going through it, there's a couple of lines on the plane and some points outside. All right, so the first part says, list another way to label plane J. So besides using one letter that sort of clearly states what the plane is that we're talking about, we can always use any three points on the plane to name that plane. So for example, you could pick points A, C, and D to name the plane because any three points will always define a plane. There's only one plane that will pass through points A, C, and D. All right, list another way to label line H. So this is line H right here. And we can see it's labeled right there. So if we don't want to label it line H, we can pick any two points on H, which would be A, C, or B, pick two of those to label it. So I'm just going to say line A, B, because those are two points on the line. You could also say A, C, or C, B, and that would be fine. But make sure you put the line symbol on top of your letters. C are K and F collinear. So remember what the word collinear means. Co, that prefix, always means same. And we have the word line in there. So collinear means same line. So it's really asking, are K and F on the same line? Well, I can see here that this is a line and K and F are both on it. So yes, they are collinear. Are E, B, and F coplanar? Well, it's hard to see necessarily from this, but what you guys need to know is that three points are always coplanar. There's only one plane that will pass through three points, and there always will be a plane to pass through any three points. If you had four points, it wouldn't be that same thing, but with three points, yes. So yes, they are coplanar. And let's go to the last example. Example 3, C, describe the picture below using all the geometric terms you have learned. All right, so that's pretty open-ended. We just want to describe all the things that we see. So for example, I see plane P, and plane P contains point D, and also line AB. So you could say that plane P contains point D and line AB. And then besides that, we also have these other lines, line BC and AC, which intersect the plane and pass through it. So we could say that as a second part. So lines BC and AC pass through the plane all right so that's just one way that you could describe the picture there's other ways but that at least hit on all of the points that we see in this picture all right hopefully right now you feel pretty confident with your basic geometric definitions why don't you try some of the practice problems on your own